Hi, everybody. My name is Maria Jose Maldonado. My pronouns are she, they. I am from the SpecFit cohort. Uh, I am a light skinned, brown, uh, Latin, non binary person with pink pixie hair, uh, red lipstick, a court crystal necklace, and um, a black top. And um, I'm sitting in my kitchen. Uh, tonight, I'll be reading. Uh, the first couple of pages of my book, The Last Man on Earth, which takes place 100 years from now in 2126, where the majority of cis boys and cis men have started to menstruate due to the decimated human population caused by climate crisis, disease, and dangerous governments. It follows the life of Benicio Benny Torres, a menstruating 17-year-old Salvadoran American boy in Queens, New York. Chapter one the blood, red and wet. He looked down at his stark white boxer briefs as he stood in front of the toilet, the elastic band hugging his thighs. Yes, red and wet, a crimson stain, or as the female news anchors and pundits called it, Uncle Flojo had finally arrived for 17-year-old Benicio. It was finally here, and he wondered if he should shout to his dad to break the news to him. Papi, I got his at 14. Mijo, you're a man now, <laughs> is what he would probably say, laughing and squeezing Benny's shoulder. But no, Benny decided to wait until dinner to tell everyone. He would play it cool, do it matter-of-factly while asking his teenage sister Genesis to scrape some con con onto his plate. No biggie. Benny did the ceremonial pea shake. And like any adolescent coming of age, he looked at his reflection in the medicine cabinet mirror. Except this time, he was looking at a Dike man. Before he could get in a staring contest with his new self, he felt a quick tingly vibration in his genitals. I better get a man pond, he thought to himself as he bent down carefully, his thighs shut together and opened the cabinet under the bathroom sink he immediately found the bright blue box with the words, male absorption aids. Bra, bra, bra. Someone knocked on the door. Dinner's ready, Genesis shouted. Genesis cooked dinner on Tuesdays, mommy on weekends, papi on Wednesdays and Thursdays, Benicio on Mondays. On Fridays, they dined out. And every Sunday morning after breakfast, they cleaned the house together for two hours, energized by salsa music and cafecito. Okay, ya voy! Benny shouted back as he took a man pawn out of the box. He ripped open the black paper wrapping. That's it, he thought to himself, looking at the tiny tampon. The man pawn comprised two pinky sized white cardboard cylinders, one inserted into the other like Benny's retractable telescope. It had a cotton tampon head stuffed on one end to soak up the blood and a cotton string hanging out the other end to pull on like a wet leash and discard. He put the seemingly weightless little white man pawn up to his nostrils and sniffed. It smelled weird, almost spicy, like burnt wood and oranges. Benicio looked at the man pawn box. On the back, it said, Man Pons, the number one trusted masculine hygiene product for all your manly flows. A new smoky oak and citrus scent. Bonus, free douching side. 100% made in the USA. Try our other Man Pond scents. Original musk, musky vanilla, cedarwood and pineapple, leathery lemon, zesty talc, patchouli fog, Stormy Sandalwood, Misty Lime. And thank you, that is the end of my excerpt.